Welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to go through an A-level chemistry exam calculation on buffer solutions. Question details are in the description. Let's get started. Here's the question. A buffer solution contains 0.025 mole of sodium ethanoate dissolved in 500 centimeters cubed of 0.077 mole per decimeter cubed ethanoic acid at 25 degrees Celsius. A sample of 5.00 centimeters cubed of 2.00 mole per decimeter cubed hydrochloric acid is added to this buffer solution. Calculate the pH of the solution formed and we're given a Ka value for ethanoic acid. A buffer system resists changes to pH when an acid or alkali is added. The buffer system in this question is based on the equilibrium shown here. There is a relatively high concentration of CH3COOH and CH3COO- in this buffer system. Ethanoic acid, CH3COOH, is a weak acid. We can assume that these molecules do not dissociate. Before the HCl is added, we can work out the amount of ethanoic acid using concentration multiplied by volume. This works out to be 0.0350 moles. Sodium ethanoate, CH3COONA, will completely dissociate. We're given the amounts of sodium ethanoate in the question. Before the HCl is added, there are 0.025 moles of CH3COO- ions present in the buffer solution. Hydrochloric acid, HCl, is monoprotic. The concentration of H plus ions in the HCl is also 2.00 moles per decimeter cubed. We can work out the amount of H plus ions added using concentration multiplied by volume. This works out to be 0.0100 moles. H plus ions from the hydrochloric acid react with ethanoate ions to produce ethanoic acid. CH3COO- plus H plus gives CH3COOH. It's a one-to-one -one reaction. The amount of ethanoate is reduced by 0.0100 moles. The amount of ethanoic acid is increased by 0.0100 moles. We now have the amount of ethanoic acid and ethanoate ions present in the buffer solution following the addition of hydrochloric acid. We have to use the Ka expression to find the H plus ion concentration in the buffer solution. Rearrange this to make H plus concentration the subject. This is a very useful rearrangement and you should familiarize yourself with it. It is possible to work out the concentrations of ethanoic acid and ethanoate ions, but in this rearrangement, volumes cancel. It is possible to use amounts instead of concentrations. Substitute these amounts into the expression along with the Ka value given in the question. The H plus concentration works out to be 5.28 times 10 to the minus 5 moles per decimeter cubed. Finally, work out the pH using pH is equal to minus log to the base 10 of hydrogen ion concentration. The pH works out to be 4.28. It is common to quote pH values to two decimal places, so I would recommend doing this unless the question tells you to do otherwise. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the video useful. Please post in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions. Take care and good luck with your studies.